Hey guys, it's Maggie, and today I'm showing you where all the treasure chests are in Go Vacation. To be completely honest, this is one of my all-time favorite games, and I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while, even though I'm not a gaming channel, so that's what I'm doing. First, we are going to the Mountain Resort, which I think is my favorite resort. By the way, if you didn't already know, there are seven treasure chests in each map, so I will be doing a walkthrough on how to find all of them. And here we are. Get through all that, yada yada yada. Alright, first one I have named is Castle's Peak. You will see why in a little bit. So when you get into the map, you will already be at location 1, so all you have to do is just turn around and follow this white path. And when you get to about here, turn right onto this path and it will lead you into the castle. Take a left and stop at about here. Now you can hop out and if you go to the right you will see that there is some parkour so just kind of go in the direction it's giving you. Next when you get here just jump onto the roof and jump onto this ledge and then jump onto that ledge and go up that little path. And it will be right there. Next up is Shipwrecked. What you want to do is get yourself back to location 1, but this time select a kayak. Now start paddling towards the castle. Oh yeah, make sure you stick to the left because then you will go under this bridge. Next, paddle towards this weird looking rock and you will eventually see some steps, so go up those. Follow this path up and jump onto the other ledge and it will be right there. Number three is beneath the bridge. So you want to get yourself to location four. Next, turn left and follow this like rock path, I guess. Next, when you get to this intersection sort of thing, take a left and you will get onto this bridge and stop right around where this like hole is. Looks like it's been like broken. And then just jump down and the treasure will be right there. Next up is behind the waterfall. Get yourself to location 7. Turn around and go through this little opening and then just follow the windy road. Next stop where you see this rock parkour, now make sure you be careful because if you fall it will be quite unfortunate because you will fall into the water. But yeah, just do the parkour and you will get to the treasure. Number 5 is behind the waterfall part 2, and this is my favorite treasure chest because all you have to do is start to go back doing the parkour and fall right around here and make sure that the control pad on your nunchuck is aimed towards the left so that way you will stay right next to the wall and land on this ledge right beneath it. Number 6 is Shanghar Peak. Get yourself to the very top of the mountain. Now all you have to do is hop out, turn around, and go up this path to get to the chest. Number 
not only will you get to the treasure chest, but you will get a very gorgeous view. Yeah. Last but not least is in the shadows. Get yourself to location four. And begin to go the same way that you went to get to the bridge. Except this time when you get to the intersection, take a right and then just keep following the path. And I am a really bad driver, so bear with me. Now go up this skinny dirt path. Make sure to keep going straight. And then when you get to this part, make sure you turn left and go across that little bridge thing. And then stop about here. Jump out and then jump over the wall and then just go inside. When you get up to this part, you will see that there is a path that you need to go up. So just do that and then your treasure chest will be at the very top. And there's a little more parkour as usual. Now we are in the city resort! And all of that. Yada yada yada. First up is Building Hopper. So for some reason it cut off where I spawned myself on the map, but get yourself to around location 2, and then go about here, and then go up this like panel thing with one of those things that like blasts you yeah um and then turn around when you get onto this building and you will find another tan platform and then just jump over and it will be right there number two is up and up so you want to view your records just kidding don't do that and get yourself to the map and then get yourself to location three Now you want to go towards the building that's like a pyramid, but it's kind of square, but it has a bunch of panels on it with the, all, more of those like blasty thingies and just glide up there. And then when you get to the top on the right will be your treasure chest. Number three is blast off. Now, right from where you found number two, you can turn and see that there is a rocket ship looking thing in the distance. So just jump off that building and start to go towards the rocket ship. And do a couple backflips too, because why not? Next, you want to go up the railing and make sure you do not jump when you get up here. Trust me, you will land safely onto this rail and just ride it and make sure you jump off to get on the sledge here, turn around, and it's right there. Number four is a walk in the park, more like a skate in a park. So get yourself towards the back of the map and then take a left when you see this little opening, looks like it's kind of going into a park, and then just go towards the back left corner and your treasure chest will be kind of in a bush. And I am just running into it a bunch, I don't know why. Number five is hope you're not scared of heights. So get yourself to around this part of the map and then take a right when you see this whole like skate park, memorial park thing. I, I don't know what it is. And then get to the center thing and then jump on the rail. And same thing as the rocket ship. Do not jump when you get up here. You will land on this platform and then just go up the ramp and your treasure chest is right there. Number six is the big jump. I would be aware that this one may take you a couple of tries. So get towards where I am on the map and then you're gonna have to back up a lot so that way you can get enough momentum when you go up this. Now when you jump, turn to the right because you will land on top of this big old platform right here and the treasure chest is right there. 
Lastly is in the skate park. Now from where you are from getting number six, you can just jump off and kind of go in this direction up this road and fall when you try to do a trick because tricks are difficult. Now get to the skate park here and go up all of the stairs. And then when you get to the very top, turn right and then it'll be right there. And I ran into it again because I'm an idiot. Next up is the Marine Resort. And this is where the treasure chests start to get a little bit more tricky to get to. All right, so number one is Secret Beach. Go to the map and get yourself to location three and make sure that you give yourself a marine bike because an ATV would be difficult to get to this one. <laughs> After you spawn on Eternal Beach, take a right and just go into the direction that I'm going towards like the corner, I guess you could say. And then you're going to get to this cave opening sort of thing, but really it opens up into like a little mini, looks kind of like a private beach. And then you can see where the treasure chest is, so yeah. Number two is behind the beach house. Go to the map and again get yourself to location three, this time with an ATV. Next start to go forward and just kind of like go around the beach. And after you take the bend, just keep going forward because you can see that the treasure chest is right there behind the beach house thing. Number three is inside the temple. Get yourself to location six. We're going to be spending some time here. Next, just go forward and then go by the two really colorful trees, like the pink and the orange, and then take a left and then you're gonna pass by where the water gun battle is and then take a right up on the stairs because you're gonna get into the temple and just keep going forward and then get to like the inner chamber sort of thing and then just follow the hallway that it gives you and then when you get inside you're gonna see that there is some parkour wow what a surprise so just do that and then your treasure chest will be at the last one Number four is Tarzan. Now, like I said, we will be spending some time at location six, so get yourself back there with an ATV. And then pretty much just go the same route that you took to get to the previous one, except this time stay more to the left. And then you're going to eventually find this like dirt path that's going to lead you into the different part of the jungle. When you get there, you're going to see this big old log sort of thing, so just go up and just kind of climb on the logs, and then you will find your treasure chest at the top. Number five is Ocean Cave. This one's a fun one. Get yourself to, again, location six. And then go the same way that you've been doing most of the time. Except this time, before you get to the temple, take a left and then follow this dirt path. This is going to take you to a different part of the jungle. And then when you get out of that, take a right. I missed the turn because I'm an idiot, but you want to take a right. And then keep going up here. And then when you get to here, make sure you stay on the left path, so the dark road. 
And then when you get to this two path segment, stay on the right. And then on this ledge, you're going to jump and then go to the right to get yourself over this wall. And then now you are in a completely different part of the jungle. And that was the fun part. Just run right into the wall. It's pretty fun. And then you're going to fall and die. And now do not do what I'm doing because I went to the right. And if you do that, you will end up doing this. So make sure that you indeed go to the left where you will enter the cave. And all you gotta do is just stay on the path. Now when you get to about here, stop and then get off your ATV and then jump in the water. Next, just swim kind of next to the wall until you get to this part that has some steps, and then just go up steps. Now what you gotta do is kind of zigzag your way up the different water levels until you get to the top, and then you will find the treasure chest. Number six is between the flowers. So go to the map and then get yourself to location number five with an ATV. Next, you have to turn around and then kind of just go where I'm going. This will lead you up to that white, like, I guess, like sand path up there. Then when you get to here, make sure you turn left. I kind of failed when I tried to do this, but just turn left and then you're going to get onto this other path. Now just follow this path. Now you're kind of like on top of the mountain, so just kind of like just keep going where I'm going. Next, when you get up to this part, you will see right here that there are two flowers. So what you want to do is go right in between them. And then from standing right there, you can see that below you is the platform with the treasure chest. And there you go. Lastly, we have the secret platform. Get to the map and then get yourself back to location 5 because you will be taking the same route that you pretty much just did. Then, when you get to this part, you will see that next to the two flowers, there is a rock and then there's a ledge. What you want to do is line yourself up on the ledge because you are going to be jumping off of it to getting to the other platform. If you jump off your ATV, you can use your viewfinder. You can see that it's right there. So that's what you can do to like line yourself up. So then, after that, you just back up and then you jump. Lastly is a snow resort, which is the most difficult resort to finding the treasure chest. Number one is up the snow park. Get to the map and get yourself to location three. When you get there, you want to go to the left and then go up the park. Next, when you get up to this part, you want to take a right. I was stupid and accidentally went left, but you want to go to the right. Then you want to keep going up and the treasure chest will be on your right. Number two is probably the easiest one to find in this entire game. Get yourself to location four, and then when you spawn, literally all you're going to do is turn around and then go up the slope, and it will be right there on your right. Number three is Christmas present. Go to the map and get yourself to number 14.
Next, because it's fun, go down the dancing frog and down the moguls. So yeah, it's pretty fun. And you can laugh at those two suckers that fell over. <laughs> now you want to go down the bear forest. Now it can be kind of confusing because of all the trees, but you will eventually reach a part where you can turn right and you will find this like gated off section. And then all you have to do is just go up that slope and then go by the Christmas tree and then by this little house will be the treasure chest. Number four is by the lake. So go to the map and get yourself to location six. Next thing you want to do is just stick to the left because you are eventually going to come to this bridge and you're literally just going to fall off. There we go. And you are a good person, so you're going to go help that other person that's stuck in the snow. Just kidding. We have more important things to do, like finding treasure chests. You're going to keep going down this mountain. Then you're going to pass by this lake and head towards the hotel on the other side. And as you can see, it is right up there. All right, number five is fire in the hole. Go to the map and get yourself to location 10. Now just start to go down the mountain. Now I'm going to tell you the most important thing into finding this thing, stay to the left. When you go through all these rocks, just make sure you're trying to stay to the left, because you're eventually going to go down this path trying to find it. Next, you're going to get to here, and whoa, it's an ice wonderland, whoa. Okay, anyway, so yeah, now you just kind of follow the path that it is giving you. And I fell off, because I'm an idiot. And now I am riding the wall. I I, I, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. Um, I'm, I'm running into everything, oh gosh. Um, anyway. Um, after you run into everything, don't go onto that path that you just saw. If I can stop running to the wall, it'd be great. Do not go on that path. Make sure you stay on the bottom part. Now you will enter this part of the cave that kind of looks like the dragon home from How to Train Your Dragon 3, but with mushrooms instead, so yeah, just keep going. And then you will enter this literal hellhole. <laughs> So yeah, just keep going on this ice path. I don't know why it's ice. If it's with a bunch of lava, I, I don't know. But yeah, just keep following the path. And with this one, you really have to worry about falling off. Make sure you do not fall off, because if you do, you will land in lava, and it will spawn you somewhere, and that'll be a mess. And then you have a little bit of parkour here, and I recommend not doing this on an ATV. Either have like a snowboard or skis, or better yet, just be like walking. But, I mean, I, I made it on an ATV, but it's, it's a lot easier to not have to worry about sliding off every three seconds. Number six, I didn't really know what to call this one, but we're going to call it Zoom and Jump. Get yourself to the very top of the mountain. Next, you want to go down the right side. And again, stay towards the left side. When you get to here, make sure you take a left. Make sure you laugh at the person that fell down over there.
When you get to this part, make sure you are ready to jump. You're going to take this left and then jump and then land safely on this other ledge. Alrighty, and our very last one is hole in the wall. Go to the map and get yourself to location 11. Now all you gotta do is turn around and go up the slope. Then when you get up here, you will see that there is a little cave and there is your last treasure chest. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment down below if you want more stuff like this. I don't know if I will, but who knows? Like and subscribe, do all that, and yeah. Bye!